Jordan. What is it, Mom? I just got a letter from the high school. You have been invited to the new student orientation because you are starting there in September. It is next Tuesday, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. What? No, I don't want to go. I want to keep enjoying the rest of my summer. Well, I think you should go. I think it will be helpful for you because you will get to know more about your school and meet new people. No, I don't want to go. Yes, I think I will make you go whether you like it or not. If you refuse, you will be grounded for the rest of the summer. Okay, fine, I will go. Good. Okay, Jordan, we are here. I hope you have a good time. I doubt it. Don't be so negative. Anyway, you better get in there now, or you will be late. Hello, what's your name? Jordan McFarland. Okay, here is your name tag, schedule for the school year, and brochure for the orientation. You are going to be in group 2, and you can find your orientation leader in the cafeteria. Hello, what's your name? Jordan McFarland. Okay, you are in my group. My name is Katie Stanley, and I will be your orientation leader. I am currently entering my senior year at this school, and I will be graduating in the spring. Anyway, did you get your schedule? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, I had Mrs. Davenport and Mrs. Harrison when I was a freshman. They are bad teachers. Great, just my luck. Well, other than that, you have pretty good teachers. Anyway, we just have to wait for the rest of the group. Three minutes later. Okay, everyone is here. Now it is time to head down to the auditorium for the assembly. Good morning, students. Welcome, students, to Randall Valley High School. My name is Mr. Wright, and I will be your principal, and welcome to your orientation. I hope this will be a fun experience for all of you. But first, I will be discussing some of the student activities that you can learn more about today. Ugh, this is so boring. Excuse me, could you please be quiet? I am trying to listen to what he has to say. Jordan, is there a problem? Um, no. Okay, well can you please be quiet? People are trying to listen. Ugh, fine. 30 minutes later. Okay, at this time, I will be releasing you all to your small groups, so turn to your orientation leaders, have a nice day, and I will see you all at the pizza party later. Okay everyone, we are going to start off by getting to know each other by playing a name game. Now the way this name game works is that you will say your name, your favorite color, your favorite food, and an interesting fact about you. I'll go first. My name is Katie Stanley, my favorite color is yellow, my favorite food is spaghetti. And an interesting fact about me is that I am entering my senior year at this school, and I will be graduating in the spring, and I play for the school basketball team. Okay, who wants to go next? Five minutes later. Okay, I think that is everyone, except for you Jordan. Why don't you go? No. Oh come on Jordan, it's not that hard. Okay fine, I will do it. My name is Jordan and I just want to get out of here. Jordan, is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. First of all, I was brought here against my will. Second, this name game and all the other things we have done so far today are so stupid. Well, calm down. No, I will not calm down. Oh, 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 you just broke the computer. That's it. I have been very patient with you today, but I have had enough. I am going to get the principal. Oh hi Katie. Why are you so angry? Well, one of my students just had a tantrum and broke the computer in the classroom. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry to hear that happen to you. Don't worry, I will go deal with it. I need you to come to my office. 
I can't believe you threw a tantrum for your orientation leader, and you broke a computer monitor. Thankfully, you didn't break the whole computer, so it won't be too expensive to replace, but still, I have called your parents to come pick you up. Also, I heard you being disrespectful during the assembly earlier. That is not appropriate. Also we were all going to have pizza and ice cream later, but you won't get to participate, because you will be sent home early. So, what did my son do? Well, first he was being disrespectful to me during the assembly this morning, and then he threw a tantrum in front of his orientation leader, and broke a computer monitor, which you will have to spend $50 to replace. What? Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Are you going to give him any more punishments? No, I am not going to punish him for what he did, because I assume he will be punished at home, but I am going to make this warning that if he does anything bad on the first day of school, he will be given up detention, or worse. Okay, that sounds fair. Now I am going to need you to remove him from the orientation. Okay, we will take him home now. I hope he behaves better on the first day of school. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Jordan, we're going home right now. Oh, 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 Jordan, really? You haven't even started high school and you already got in trouble there? You probably made yourself look like a fool in front of your peers, and you made a bad first impression to your principal. You're lucky your principal didn't punish you, but we still have to pay $50 to replace the computer monitor that you broke. But mom and dad, none of this would have happened if you didn't force me to go to the orientation. No. None of this would have happened if you didn't act like a spoiled brat. But mom and dad, I am so sorry. No, sorry is not going to be good enough. You are grounded until the first day of school. When we get home, you will go straight to your room. Also, because you really just made a bad first impression to your principal, and because he was nice enough to not punish you, you will be writing a letter apologizing to your principal and the orientation leader for what you did. Well, what are you waiting for? Go to your room right now. Why?